Hey Zone Leaders, this is Mr. Nick coming at you with a video about Zone and third grade Zone to be more specific. So the purpose of this video is just to give you a quick rundown of the schedule for third graders, kind of give you a few tips as leaders and how you can make the night a great experience for your third graders and how you can make it a great experience for yourself as well. So first off, thank you so much for being a third grade Zone travel leader, small group leader. We really appreciate it. We couldn't have Zone without you. So here's a quick rundown of what uh, third grade night looks like at zone. First, uh, third graders will begin in B210. That's where they will check in. They'll get three stickers and they will check in. As they check in, we'll have some games and activities uh, going around the room. We'll have a video, Dude Perfect or something playing, uh, some music playing as they come in. And they'll be doing that until we get started at about 620. At about 620, we will begin with our first zone the surprise zone, and our surprise zone could be anything from a game, a experiment, a project, a service project, it could be any of those things. And that will be led by a leader that's in there who's uh, just focused on leading that surprise zone for us. One of the things we will do before we start that zone with third graders is divide you all up into groups. All right? And so depending on how many, how many leaders we have, that's how many groups we will have. All right? And so as the kids come in, sometimes we will give them stickers to put on their name tag and we'll divide up by color. Or at this age, we might be able just to do it quickly and quickly uh, as we tell them to. So we'll divide up into groups. You'll get your small group roster and you will break down the names of the kids that are in your group and then you will stay together throughout the entire night of zone and you will begin together at the surprise zone doing the things I just talked about and you'll do that with your group you'll engage with them you'll help get the supplies you'll help the surprise zone leader find uh, you know getting kids organized and so we can get as much done as we can in these short zone times after the surprise zone you will go to the snack zone there you will have a delicious snack uh, you will have a few questions a little bit of a project you can do if the snack finishes early and that snack will generally go along with what our lesson, our biblical theme, our devotion is for the night. So, then we do the snack. Uh, after snack, you'll head to B200 where you will do some worship uh, led with uh, Mr. Mike. There will be music, there will be an instant drama, there might be a little game, all revolved around our biblical theme for the night. And while we're in there, that room's a little bit bigger and kids can kind of like lose sense of boundaries. And so it'll be really important to have your group sit together, uh, you sit with them, and just make sure that they're uh, paying attention and directing their attention to what's going on up front. And when we're doing motions, you know, that they're not getting too crazy with the motions and running all over the place and uh, just kind of keep that all in moderation as well. So that will be the worship station. Then we'll come back to 210 for a quick review game. And that review game will go through the lesson, the devotion for the night, our theme for the night, and that will be another way that they get to hear the Bible story. After that, we're going to uh, do some connect time and that will be dismissal. So once we finish the review game, we're gonna finish that a little bit before 7.45, maybe seven, five, six, seven minutes before that ends. And then you're gonna have a chance to sit with your group and do a few activities with them. You'll have that activity sheet with you. And it looks something like this, all right? You'll take a look at it. And it'll just give you a chance for you to connect with the kids, all right? And if you watch another video here in just a minute about why this matters, you'll see a little bit more about why this small group time and why you as a small group leader really matter, really make or break zone for a lot of our third graders. And I'll, you can see that in our next video. And so in our connect time, you're just gonna have your, you're gonna sit together with your kids. You're gonna allow them to maybe talk a little bit about what's been going on in their lives. And remember you have a group, depending on how big your group is and how much time you have, this is gonna be, quick, be done quickly. So you might have to come up with something fun with like, hey, tell me how your week was in five words. And so they have to do it in five words and you go around that way. After you do that, you can talk about how their week was good or bad. You can give them how, hey, thumbs up if your week was great, thumb down if it wasn't so good, if it's somewhere in between, somewhere in between. Then take a chance to pray for the kids. If they have a prayer request, allow them to share that. If you just wanna pray for all of them, that is great. If you wanna allow them to say a prayer, that is awesome as well. Just get a chance to pray together in that small group. And then there's a few games to do if there's time. If it's 7.45 and, they, and no one's uh, been picked up yet and you have a chance to play a game, that is awesome. And just do those games as time allows. This is just one way for you to connect with your, uh, with your small group, with the kids, and build some relationships with them. So just to review, we start in 210. You'll get into your small group, so I'll help you get that organized. You do your surprise zone with a surprise leader. You go to your snack. You have worship time with Mr. Mike. Uh, review game back in B210 that's led by our surprise leader, and then some connect and some dismissal time. So thank you so much for being a third grade leader at Zone. And once again, if you have any questions, please let me know. And make sure you check out the other video about why it matters that you serve at Zone. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon on a Wednesday night.